Okay. I filled in those values for you guys to save some time. And as you can see, it adds up to 60 at the end. Okay, so now for the next part, they say we have to draw the O guy. Um, and they gave us a grid to draw it on, which makes it a lot easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the coordinates of the values that I have to plot. So we said the x value is the upper limit of the interval. So my first x value will be 30. And the y value is determined by your cumulative frequency. So it's 2. The next one will be 40 and 9. Then we have 50 and 19. Then we have 60 and 34. And you guys will see that these will always be equal increments. So it won't go 30, 40, and then 70 on the x values. They will always be equal increments. Up to 160. And once you have those, you now go to your grid and you start plotting them. So I'm just going to zoom out so that I have those. Um, first, first one is at 30 and 2. So I've got 30 here and 2 will be somewhere there. Then I've got 40 and 9. So it'll be about there. 50 and 19 will be about there. 60 and 34 and 70 and 46 80 and 54 90 and 58 and the last one is at 160. Okay. Now remember the two things we have to do now is we have to go and ground it. Which I'm going to do one step back. So remember we did our first value at 30. And it went up in increments of 10. So in other words I'm going to ground mine 10 values back at 20. So that's what I do to ground. And then when you draw the curve, remember the curve must be, do free, be done freehand. Now remember freehand isn't synonym for doing it wild. You're going to go and without a ruler but still nice and neat all the way to the top. Okay. And that's your OGIVE. Now we're going to talk about values that we can read off from an OGIVE. So these aren't written on this, um, on this question paper, but I'm just going to add a few values. So the first one that I'm going to ask you is read off the median value of the data. And you guys will see that they oftentimes ask you to indicate it on your um, OGIVE as well. Okay, so we know that 60 motorcyclists partook in this survey or they recorded the speed of 60 motorcyclists, meaning that my median value will be close to 30. So actually what they do is they normally say 60, which is the value, plus 1, so 61, divided by 2. So I'm going to say for the median value, I'm looking at a half. This half is because it's the median times 60 plus 1. So I'm looking at 30 and a half. But as you guys can see, 30 and a half is going to be almost on the line for 30. So it's close enough. And then you take your ruler and you draw a dotted line from there to your curve. Okay, and when it touches your curve, you take your ruler and you switch it around and you draw a dotted line 
sorry, a dotted line straight down. And there it goes. Okay. And you can indicate it there. So what they normally want you to do is on the y-axis write down we're reading off the median value and in your book write down the median value will be equal to that seems like about I would say 58 so what we normally do here is we give a bit of a grace we say two upwards two downwards because maybe you drew your ogre slightly more steep than mine then your value will be a bit different so we normally give grace of about one up, one down. Okay, so that's if I ask you for something from the x-axis. Let's say I asked you how many motorcyclists had a speed below, let's make it, 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, this time you're going to go from the x axis to the y axis, but the steps remain more or less the same. So we're going to put our ruler on 50. I'm going to change this to 45 just to take it off the line draw a dotted line there mine might be a little bit below 45 and then you from the curve to your y-axis you draw another dotted line Okay, and then you read off your value. So I would say that is around 11 or 12, meaning that the 11 or 12 people from year on down had a speed of 45 and less. So I'm going to say is equal to, let's make it 12. Like I said, we give grace for about 1 plus 1 minus or 2 plus 2 minus. Okay, so that's when you use the OGIVE to... Um, to read off values that they ask. Be careful because they can ask this one the other way around as well. So let's say they ask you how many motorcyclists had speeds above 65. So now I'm first going to go and take the reading at 65. There we are. Take a reading, it's just over 40. Okay, so let's say that is more or less 41. Now remember that means that these 41 motorcyclists actually had speeds of 65 and below. But the question was how many had speed above 65? So what you have to do then is you have to say of the total 60 that partook in this, 41 of them had a speed below 65, meaning that the remaining 19 had to have a speed above 65. Okay, so what you need to do for 2.2 is similar to 2.1. Um, if you do this 2.2.1 quickly and just to estimate the median, so remember 200 hours is, um, took part in this and then I'll help you to do 2.2 to fill in a table using an OGAR, so working the other way around.